Hey everyone, so for today's video, we are going to be talking about this little item right here. This is Clinique Black Honey, and this has been a cult favorite lipstick for so many for so long. My mom was a huge fan of Clinique for a really long time, and this was one of the first Clinique items that I tried. It's now gone viral, so I want to talk about this formula, the pretty iconic shade, and also offer some potential alternatives. All of these products have kind of floated around the internet for a long time as potential dupes for this product. I wanted to offer you guys my thoughts, my experiences on whether or not these are actually dupe products. Personally on my channel, I don't use the word dupe very lightly because I don't like the idea of throwing out a dupe and having the expectations that it is literally a duplicate product. I can't even tell you how many times you guys, like I would go out and buy a product that was supposedly a dupe and it was just not anything like the other item and it really got frustrating for me. So I don't wanna do that to you guys. So I hope it ends up being interesting, you guys enjoy it. But let's first start with the classic so we have a little bit of a jumping off point. So Clinique Black Honey retails for $20 for the full size. This is just a sample. Actually, I given this to my sister and then when I realized it was going viral, I was like, hey, I'm gonna need to come and pick that up. Do you still have it? And she did, but it retails for $20 you get 0.07 ounces of product. So it's not really, really expensive. It's not really affordable. It's definitely a mid-range item. One thing I like about this makeup item is that when you're dealing with a product that says it's an almost lipstick, I feel like immediately I think it's going to be really easy for every day. And this is certainly a very easy product to just apply onto the lips for a quick lip look. It is a stiff gel lipstick texture so it doesn't really melt easily when it's going on the lips the way kind of like a solid lip oil might or even a balm. It has a touch of a stiffness and it also has a little bit more of a translucent quality and I actually think that this shade is really beautiful. Also the name of it I really like. Does anyone else really like the name Black Honey? Like I think that's really unique but anyways the form formulation again is very sheer, but this to me is a very sheer pink brown with a touch of a plum to it. And I think what makes this shade very different than other shades, even some of the shades that we're talking about today, is that the brown and the pink are perfectly complemented by the plum in here. So I think with a lot of plum lip products, it's a little bit more purple and this shade is very, very balanced. It's gorgeous and I understand why a lot of people like it. Again, I really like the texture. I think it's a really pleasant texture to use. My personal preference is definitely to more sheer lip products. So I really like the texture. I like the way that it looks. The one thing that I don't like about it is that if you do have more dry lips or flaking lips, um, this is not going to be super flattering. It's really for two reasons. One, I think the shade, um, at least for me and, and my color of lips, I think it can kind of exaggerate the dryness. Now I have very chronically dry lips. So if you're like me, maybe that's something to keep in mind. And I also think partially it's because of the amount of shine in this lip product. So the shine is not one of those shines that kind of fills in every line of your your lips. I love, love a lip product that can do that. And a lot of my holy grail lip products give a very smooth appearance to the lips. And this is just not a product that I think necessarily does that. That being said, if you're really, really interested in this, I know Sephora has a duo, like a sample duo of two of the shades. It's for like $10. Rather than spending the 20, you could try the sample, you get another sample with it. I feel like that's a good alternative to just jumping into the full size. But I have three other lip products that I wanted to compare it to. And I want to first start off with this one because this I think is such a good option. The e.l.f. Sheer Slick Lipstick. This shade is the shade Black Cherry. This is incredible. This is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So it retails for $5 and you get 0.06 ounces of 
product. Here is the package. First of all, as far as packaging goes, this is definitely the closest to Clinique Black Honey. And I do think that's important with a shade like this that you have a little bit more control. So the smaller bullet applicator I think is really nice. So this texture is I think the closest texture that I have found to the Clinique Black Honey. Again, it's more of a sheer lipstick. It has a beautiful slip to it and the application of this product is really easy. It is slightly more pigmented than Clinique Black Honey, but I think the application of it, I believe to be smoother and it looks a little bit more flattering, at least on my lips. I find the look of it to be, in general, just look smoother, more even, and I almost prefer the way that it feels. I think there's just a beautiful smoothness to the product that makes application super easy. You don't feel like you need to go back in and kind of like layer up the pigment of the product. It doesn't exaggerate any dryness as much as the original Black Honey did for me. As far as the shade goes, I would say that this has a touch more purple than Clinique Black Honey has, but it still has that touch of brown that I think makes it such a close close shade option when you compare it to Black Honey. And by the way, today I have the Sheer Slick and Black Honey on my top lip, and on the bottom I have Black Honey. So this should give you a better idea of how close they actually are. I really barely notice a difference when looking at it in real life, but honestly, like when I see it, I, I prefer this lip. A little bit more. So all of that being said, I don't think that this product is a dupe of Clinique Black Honey. I think that this product in formula is, is better in my opinion, which is awesome because it's like five dollars. I also want to talk about this lip balm from Burt's Bees. This is the Tinted Lip Balm in Red Dahlia. Again, it just has that touch of chocolate that I think is what makes Black Honey really, really pretty. It still has that pretty pink red look as well. It doesn't lean as much on the plum side. So if you are looking for a shade that leans a little bit more red brown than plum, I think that this shade is absolutely gorgeous. Now, that being said, this formula is just a very incredibly thin balm. There's not a ton of shine with this product. It's quite sheer. It, for me, it's just like such an easy, don't have to look in the mirror kind of product. You just apply it to the lips. It gives you a bit of that flush. It's not going to last a really long time, but as far as a product that feels really nice on the lips, is really easy, and actually goes on the lips pretty evenly. I think that this is definitely a balm that I would recommend. Honestly, when I was picking this up and trying it out, I was wondering whether or not this would be one of those lip products, like lip balms that, okay, you got you got chapped lips and you apply it and it's just exaggerating every little bit of that chapped -ness. This doesn't do that. And it actually feels really nice on the lips. You also get 0.15 ounces of product. So nearly double of a lot of the products that we're talking about today for around four or $5. So this is also a very good bang for your buck kind of product. And as far as like an easy tinted lip balm, I'm actually really, really impressed. So though this is a little bit more on the sheer side and you're not going to get as much pigment out of this that you will with some of the other items we're talking about, I still really, really like it. And lastly, we also have another e.l.f. lip product. So this is the Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Static. I have another one of these shades. I can't think of the name, but I was already familiar with this formula and really, really excited to try out another shade because I, I just think this formula is really nice. They retail for $6 and you get 0 0.09 ounces of product. You have the pigment on the outside and then you have this little heart of oil in the middle. This formula to me is something between a lip balm and a lip oil. So it has that kind of stiff lip oil texture in the middle with a more balmy formula on the outside. I think having a balm with a bit of that lip oil slip is really nice and I know a lot of people prefer the texture of a lip oil over a balm. Personally, I prefer a balm. I want like almost that richness and that plush feeling that a balm gives me, but I'm happy to report that this doesn't feel super, super slippy the way that some lip oils do. So I think 
the formula has a nice balance. This pigmentation, I would say, is also the closest that you're going to find to black honey out of the options I have. You can build it up, but it's never going to be like a full pigment lip product. I would say out of all of the shades, this shade is the least close to Clinique Black Honey. I think because it just has more plum purple to it. But all of that being said, I think it's important to talk about how it looks on the lips. When I apply this to my lips, I think it looks very, very similar. But again, the shade is definitely not like a spot on dupe and I would not want to convince you guys otherwise but if you do like the way that it looks on my lips if you have a similar lip color to me and you like the idea of this texture and this formula I think that this is a really good option so as far as what I would recommend um, I did mention earlier that I had given this to my sister and I think that that kind of says it all about like my final thoughts on Clinique Black Honey. One, I think that the color of it is absolutely, absolutely beautiful, but I, but I really pay attention to texture and I really want my lips to have a very beautiful texture look to them. Like I want them to look smooth. Some products will make my lips look more smooth even though they aren't always the most smooth. I do think that the shade is beautiful and universally flattering. I understand why people really, really like it, but I'm really, really liking these other options. The one that I'm the most impressed with right now is this product from e.l.f., the Sheer Slick Lipstick in Black Honey. Just so beautifully even it gives you such a smooth look it has a little bit of that like blotted lip look to it and as far as just in general when i think about the scope of sheer lipstick products i'm really really impressed with this formula like already i can say if you like the generation g's from glossy i feel like you would like this more like i much prefer this texture so not even for five dollars i'm just impressed with the formula in and of itself also this is going right in my purse i think that it is such a nice product i feel like you could even like take a little bit and apply it to your cheeks if you were in a pinch my expectations were low but i think it's just such a nice product and this formula is really really nice too but when i compare these two formulas i'm just more likely to recommend this one over the hydrating lip core just because now i have a reference point so yeah guys i hope that you guys found this video helpful oh i wanted to let you guys know before i go look i found a shirt that is the same color it's my background. I don't know why I felt like I needed to tell you guys that, but I was very excited about it. But anyway, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I hope that you found it valuable. Please let me know if you guys did down below. I would really, really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe as well if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one.